so as much as we need to come into presence and be able to open to the unpleasant strata to arrive in this living mystery, in the same way we need to be able to open to pleasantness, unconditionally. And, and spring is a good time to practice this beginner's mind where we put aside that we know anything and just pay attention. And so you start noticing, well, what happens if you pause and really let this new green, all the chlorophyll, just kind of fill your, your veins and body and being? What happens if you, you know, start really listening to the, the songs of the birds? are really taking in, you know, for us we have, this is a season where the the ducks are all, the baby, little baby ducklings are going to be coming out soon and the morganzers already had their babies and these are, if you watch them on the river, they have this capacity, these tiny little creatures to scoot and they go against a strong current and it just, they look like they have a motor or something. So you're just watching these tiny little creatures scoot upstream. It's magic. (laughs) It looks amazing to watch. So you start taking in spring and then ask yourself, what is beauty? What is it that we're perceiving that we call beauty? I mean, what is that? That's as deep an inquiry as what is love, as deep an inquiry as how did this universe begin? What is beauty? So slowing down, pausing, making that part of our practice, Brian Swim talks about the Big Bang, starts the universe, pouring matter through space, and some of that matter forms stars, residue form planets, everything on Earth, including our living bodies, is formed out of the same material that form the stars and planets. Your bones are made of calcium and magnesium, and there's seawater in your blood. You are the living Earth in this particular form. He says, Four and a half billion years ago, the earth was a flaming molten ball of rock, and now it can sing opera. (laughs) Can you get a sense of how certainty, knowing an answer, covers over the wonder about all that? If we think we know, it's like our fists are closed. So Mary Oliver has her um, teaching on beginner's mind I want to share with you. And it's, the title of this poem is Mysteries, Yes. Truly, we live with mysteries too marvelous to be understood. How grass can be nourishing in the mouths of lambs how rivers and stones are forever in allegiance with gravity while we ourselves dream of rising, how two hands touch and the bonds will never be broken, how people come from delight are the scars of damage to the comfort of a poem. Let me keep my distance always from those who think they have the answers. Let me keep company always with those who say, look, and laugh in astonishment and bow their heads. <laughs>